soon. It's the final of Inktober, my way. We are doing a fire. The, the day is flame, maybe. You see. Oh, fire. Day 31. We're doing it on the 1st of November, but we'll survive. Um, I think nobody's here yet. If anyone has come earlier in the last sessions, you'll know that I'm really not very well. I think you'll agree I sound better now, but I also really do not feel well right now. I've got a different version of a pain happening. My stomach has turned strange in the last two hours. I guess I should repeat that as people come in. So I'm going to zoom in on this one so that I get more fire and less phones. Yeah. An interesting one. I think I'm going to go for no photographer as well. Hello, whoever has come in. Right, these are going to be... <coughs> Excuse me, these are going to be leaves. <sighs> Hi, no problem, thank you. I appreciate the drop-in. Nobody else here yet, so... You know I appreciate that final day. I'm sick but the show must go on. <sighs> Very sick actually. Made it through my shift though. We gotta draw lots of fire in this one so it's pretty cool I think. over here. Um, more flames up here. Hi, Ginny. <coughs> Thanks for coming. I was worried there'd be nobody. Jack's here, but he can't hear. He's just <coughs> showing his face, which is good. I am really unwell, battling very strange, insane. Um, <coughs> stomach pains right now which are peculiar because I've been trying to recover from some kind of flu. It's going around here in Japan big time. Oh thanks lovely. Ginny says just flew in through the front door, had band practice and wanted to support you. You are lovely. Some trees up here. All this fire right next to the trees. I'm just going to mute and cough a second. Ouch, that hurt. Some trees back there. I'm zooming in on this picture a little bit, so not everything I see in my picture needs to be. Um, needs to be represented. I wonder how I'll do the fire and the smoke. I've got a little idea. Um, and I should do the people too. Let me do some stick figures for where the people are going to go. Right, this one 
goes here with a bent leg and another leg bent that way. Arm, other arm, and a head. There's one over here. They are naked or bar loincloths. This festival did happen in Moriyama. How was your band practice, lovely? There's one over here. No, they're all oh, they're all naked. Who am I kidding? Another one. That means I'm gonna have to draw some butts, I think. You have a concert next week, that's nice. Um, what kind of music? Look at this, stick figures. Um, I am respectfully asking people not to ask me anything about that. In Japan, you are you can't really arrange an apartment until um, <clears throat> three, two to three weeks before you need to move. So I'm going to give my apartment notice in with 40 days without knowing where on earth I'm going to live. So unless, respectfully, I understand everyone wants to know, but respectfully, until I tell anyone anything, there is nothing to tell you. <clears throat> So please, <laughs> I know I'm I know I'm a horrible person for asking people not to ask me things all the time, but I hope you can understand. It's just really not a fun thing to have to think about. And um, nothing in my home is in a box. So, but yeah, I'll move in December. But that's that as much information as I've got for you. If you could tell me where I'm gonna live, that would be awesome. If you could provide me with the heaps of money to do it as well, that would be awesome. It's all a bit of a mess. But we're excited to live together, wherever that may be. Hello Donny, Titanic, Finlandia, Hashabai Mountain, all sorts, lovely. It's, it's alright, it's not prying, it's just you, do you know? Do you ever get that feeling where something is both on your mind and so useless all at the same time? That, I mean, there's also the fact that I know a lot of people who want to know things, but like, from my entire lo social media life, I have told everyone what I can tell them when I want to, when I can, and if I want to. So. You know, with something like moving house, if I had a house date, or even if I knew where, I might I might say, there's just nothing, it's not how it works in Japan. So, can you imagine how scary it is giving 40 days notice on where you live, and having to find somewhere to live at the 20 day mark of that? That's horrible, isn't it? Or finding somewhere sooner and then paying double when you're already paying so much to leave. It's just horrible and I don't want to think about it other than finding a place. I know that, I know I sound like a massive head biter offer to anyone who asks me anything, but at the same time, I can't not be me. And anyone who knows me really knows that I'm not trying to bite off anyone's head. You know, I've said it lots of times in these videos, but I know you haven't been in all the videos, but at the same time, if I haven't put something on Instagram or Facebook, it's because it's either on a need to know basis or there's nothing to tell, you know? I've had a horrible set of months, to be honest. I've lost more than I can count of just stuff and I don't want to think about it. Thanks, lovely. <coughs> What are you playing in your concert? <clears throat> I think I'm going to try and commit these little naked bodies to pen. Here's to a new year, but let that new year start as soon as it likes. I don't mind. 
I'm not one for, oh, I'll start doing this, I'll start doing that when it becomes January 1st. I'm a do everything as soon as you think it needs to be done. If it's worth doing, start doing it yesterday. The quote I heard once and I really liked. Right, I'm going to turn these little stick figures, hopefully, into real people. I'm going to do them first. Oh my gosh, what is that? It's just firemen in them. So I'm going to see, see if I can get them the right size and shape. It's the last thing to type up being done at the beginning of November. <clears throat> Apologies, I've been really ill the last couple of days. So I don't recall having drawn little bottoms and loincloths before, but first time for everything. Quite fun. I guess. Why not? Clarinet, clarinet and soprano saxophone. Oh, my mum would love to hear you. Oh, I really need to just sit and do nothing, to be honest. Cool to live with a boy, live with a Japanese boy. We can talk about the nice parts of living with someone if you like, rather than the uh, looking for stuff in a country that isn't even your own. <laughs> if you like, did you like living with someone? Or was it horrible? <laughs> Maybe it's not a good conversation at all. Who knows? Anyone listening is welcome to, anyone listening at any point is welcome to add to that. Do you like living with someone? I've really enjoyed living alone for the first and only time in my life. That's pretty cool. I think I need to blow my nose. Yeah, but I don't get to talk to you very often, Ginny. And I'm not in the mood to text people, so if you'd like to talk to me, I'd love to talk this way, <laughs> if you like. Hi, Misra. Nice to see you. <laughs> I guess I did at the beginning, but probably not the best person to ask. Fair. I just suddenly thought as I asked it that some of the things you've said that maybe you weren't the best person to ask. I've lived with someone for six years before and I loved every part of it apart from, well, I won't go into it. <clears throat> <laughs> You're very kind. Have you just slipped in here by accident, sir? Here's, we're doing Inktober. Here's some of the previous pieces. 
It's the final set of 31 different drawings. You can see more of my art if you go to um, kendalljames at etsy.com or miss or sorry etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash miss kendall james or vice versa but you're welcome to go and have a look or go to linktr.ee forward slash miss kendall james that way as well you're turkish nice to meet you Um, I'm trying to draw lots of <laughs> small naked people right now. Not something I thought I'd be doing on a Wednesday night, but someone's got to do the drawings of the small naked people. This is part of a special festival, which still deserves a video. Um on YouTube, all of the all of the things I need to make the video exist. Be nice when it comes to, wouldn't it? There we go. So I've started these naked people as stick drawings and I'm filling in the details after. <clears throat> so for anybody who gives me a I can draw stick people. Hmm, it's an interesting question. What do you mean by what is my drawing style? I don't know how to answer that question. It depends on my mood, it depends on um, the weather, it depends on my health, it depends on what tool I pick up. So my drawing style changes a lot. Yeah, Jenny, how would I do? I can't, can I describe <laughs> what I do? <laughs> it's year and moment and weather and tool dependent. Do you see how that little stick person turned into a real naked man? Look at that. Ooh, this one's carrying a fan. Draw the stick person as your base outline. He's got a fan up top. Oh, really? Did you purchase it from her, Ginny? Ah, or was it because of your tour? Lovely. A long, long time ago I went to Lake Como, but I barely remember it. Is it near Milan? Because I think I went there when I was at university on a trip to Switzerland. Sorry, I've got a very muscular bottom to draw. I want to do it justice. That's all right. Thanks for popping in, Misra. When you're in Milan, nice. So yeah, it is close to Milan. <coughs> Do you think people like Misra pop in because they see it on YouTube live? Just anyone doing their thing and they just pop in. Well, if anyone ever wants to show off their bottom and they're wondering what kind of light would make their bottom look the best, 
I can recommend Firelight because all of these guys seem to have really great bums. So you go get your camera and your bottom and some Firelight. Set the world ablaze. Excuse me, I need to cough again. Um, this event was um, a fire festival that happens on in January. The biggest event that happens in Moriyama. It's very special. Um, if that's what you're asking. Another one with the they're holding sticks and things. It looks a bit like a naked wizard contest. Uh it would be called the it would be called Hino Matsuri Kat Katsube Jinja Hino Matsuri Katsube Ki a K A sorry cats K A T S U B E Katsube Katsube Jinja Katsube Shrine and then Fire Festival if you wanted to look it up. Anything with ginger must be good. I just ate a meal that I put such a big amount of raw ginger into, fresh ginger. You know what? I almost feel like I'm bored of drawing people and this is like enough people all at the same time. So I might not draw any more. I'm gonna say sorry guys, you don't make the cut. There we go. I'm finished drawing naked men. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, two, four, six, eight. Eight is a lucky number. That's okay. I didn't stop on nine. That's unlucky in Japanese. Eight's lucky. It's ginger. Like, hey, ginger. Like that. It's not ginger. <laughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> okay. I did forgot to. Mute for everything. Right, I'm going to try and convey the fire. Um, in a way that still allows me to convey smoke after. Oh my goodness, my tummy hurts. Maybe I'm not meant to eat as much ginger as I did. <clears throat> I'm gonna mute a minute. finally understand why flame t-shirts and things are drawn in the way they are. I've got a lesson in fire right here. It is exactly the way fire looks.
guess that's also why they say the flames lick the air. Hello, Erica. No, I'm not feeling better, <laughs> but thanks. I'm feeling worse in different ways. I'm better in some, but no, I'm not feeling better. I don't think half a day magic's that, but I appreciate your wishing. Thank you. I'm drawing a fire festival here. The uh, word is literally fire. I think for the final Inktober, going out with a flame. How are you doing, Erica? How's life since um, being back from Japan? You've been back in America for a few months again now. Were your family happy to welcome you back? Have you been continuing your Japanese studies? Would you come to Japan again? And is your room filled with things? Ginny, this is um, Erica. She used to come on lots of our tours. This uh, fire on this side is very interesting. Oh, sorry, that's the sound of my throat doing something or other. Sorry you haven't slept. Are you okay, lovely? You said you um have issues with sleeping sometimes. Bet you're happy to be sleeping in a bed again, not on a futon though. flicking up <clears throat> into the air and I guess, I guess I can do lots of different little textures for the ground. There's lots of straw all over the ground. But the guys don't really have shadows. Yeah, my parents are glad they're back and they've asked me to work in the US for a few years but I already miss Japan so much that I'm trying to get hired by Jet or another company. Well, you can easily get hired by Nova, but whether or not I'd recommend Nova for your best life is a different story. Could be made of tough stuff to work for an obviously blackened company. I think. a little bit of texture in the background for this bit. <clears throat> but I can give you a referral if you like. Yeah, don't work for Nova without getting a referral from me because we both get money if I do that. Flames everywhere. And dark shadow of night everywhere else. Here, more barrels. So it's not barrels actually, it's heaps and heaps of kind of like straw brooms that have been put together. What kind of company? <clears throat> are they hoping you work for? And you've got brothers and sisters, haven't you? So I feel like you got enough children left so you can disappear to the uh, other side of the world, can you? I 
really ran with the prompt fire, haven't I? Some of them do have a little shadow. Oh, thanks. My room was a mess for a few days. I have a lot of Twisted Wonderland merchandise. Recently more merchandise is coming out and there's even a themed cafe I'm missing out on sadly. Well that is sad for you because I know you love it dearly. Thanks Jack, I just drew lots of naked people so I'm pretty impressed with myself. So if you ever need little tiny stick figures turned into naked people, just you know, hit me up got your back. I can draw all of the nudes you need. In fact, maybe I should make a new business called Nudes You Need. I think Nudes You Need is a great idea for a business. I'm the, the oldest child and the only daughter. I don't think my parents are quite ready to part with me. I want to be accepted into the Princeton and Asian the Princeton and Asia Fellowship for recent graduates. Ah, I want to be accepted into them. Hmm, interesting. I'm the only girl and the eldest. I left when I was 18. That's cute, they want you around. Very cute. Is it because of your family type? What's your ethnicity? Aren't you... Forgive me, I was just, I was going to say Mexican-American. Am I right or wrong there? Have I made that up? Because the, um... British family... I mean, mine just didn't care. They're like, fine, go spread your wings, bye. Catch you later. Right, I just noticed up here there are some twigs. I'm going to do a couple of them in my tree-like way. I get a little bit known for. Ah, parents are both Mexican, but what, you were born in America. I think that's got to be why. There's a lot of close family connections. So you're Mexican by heritage, but American is all you know, apart from mummy and daddy. Thanks for joining me, everybody. And Erica, thanks for sneaking in. I was, it was a nice surprise to see you, the one earlier, and here now. So thank you. It's coming up to the end, you know, of the final Inktober. I might do some live streams for painting, but I can't say these live streams make me money. I guess unless I keep doing a whole bunch of them. And they're so enticing that I get monetized big time. 
I can't imagine monetized in big time go together. I heard about forty dollars a month is likely, which is not much in pounds, but every little helps, even a tiny little tip from from people. So if anyone is watching this final one and you've been watching all of them and you're loving them, and you want to keep Kendall's doing Kendall things, then just pop over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash Miss Kendall James and chuck a little something my way. It will help more than you know. I've uh, got some little leafy bits in there. Oh, they kind of go across the whole page, so I guess I've got lots of leaves to draw. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I think Hispanics are, are usually cl very close-knit, but there is a generational gap and a cultural gap that makes it difficult to relate to my own parents. For sure. Oh, hi, Jack, for being here now. Does that mean you can hear me? You're here to hear. I'm doing a live art club on Sunday evenings. Nice. What? Ah, British Sunday evenings. What time, Ginny? Right, I'm going to do a little trick to get some trees in here. And then I'm going to add smoke around the trees. So to get the little tree lines in, what I'm doing is defining each leaf in a kind of jaggedy little way. I don't know if you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'll give you a close up in a minute. I know everyone's been getting tree tutorials like crazy out of me. And I'm definitely a self-taught tree drawer. But they're a they're a quirky thing to acquire a skill in drawing, I think. Even though they're everywhere, right? But there's so many ways that you could draw them, which is one of the reasons why I think <clears throat> it doesn't matter so much, you know? And they're natural, so they can be any shape. It's like drawing boobs. You can draw them however you like. I like to find ways to say slightly grown up stuff in my um, live streams without actually breaking any ratings. Although, have you guys seen my zombie videos just... Um, from yesterday. Do you like them? Do you think they're too scary? Because I didn't know if I should put an 18 rating on them just for the kind of shock experience. Ah, so we're doing it at my earliest morning, Ginny. That's a delighted... No. I'm sorry. I can't imagine I'd be there unless I was very drunk. I'm still awake. But we're in a new time now, aren't we? We're on nine hours ahead for a, for me, rather than the um, uh, eight before a couple of days ago. Do you see what I'm doing for trees here? Jaggedy little lines. They're quite close together. And then I'm going to do some other little lines uh, in between to show space between the tree but uh, between the leaves sorry that's the one thing that makes a lot of tree drawings seem a little bit more like children's drawings because we forget to draw gaps between them and forget also to just draw the odd occasional little leaf so i'm gonna do some little leaves as well jack i so wish i could go to egx with you But I think I'm going to do my best soon to start watching more of your videos, Jack. Or podcasts, at the very least, right? If you're still there, Jack. Also, leaves can be so many shapes, can't they? So, get them leaves in every shape. We had a wide range... Yes, they are fine. Oh, thank you. That's what we meant they are fine about. 
We had a right, wide range of scary knocking on my son's door last night. Can you elaborate? I'd love to know a little bit more about the range of scary. Oh, going for a walk and watching drawing. That is a nice idea. I'll be almost finished and then you can say that you were here for the grand finale of my Inktober. And as you can tell, if you've come to any of the last few, my uh, voice is much better than it was for each of the last few. I sounded very sad and not okay then. I feel sad and not okay right now. It's not coming across in my voice, which is nice. So well done, anyone who made it through the last ones. <laughs> I should probably be saying well done to myself, considering. Did you do any anything for Halloween, Jack? Okay, that's those ones. I feel like there's... Yeah, there's some leaves back here as well, but they are so much smaller. I know I sound really American sometimes, by the way. But I'm going to do them really tiny and really curly. So I'm doing the thing where I hold the pen more to the edge so that I get ran more randomness in there. And then I want to convey smoke somehow. So I think I'm going to get some wispy lines. So far I've done spiked and jagged lines. Um, just got a couple more um, ends of the, um, the things that are being burned. A couple more of their ends. Maybe a little bit more fire over here. And then I'm going to get some smoke in. So even though I've been using the same pen for everything, apart from those bits up there. Um, I'm hoping to have really got many looks, got many different um, textures into my picture that make it really seem like a lot is happening in here. Speaking of which, there's all kinds of little bits of ash flying off in the same and random directions here, so I'm going to add those. And I hope it inspires you to um, create art in some different ways. I'll uh, probably do some future length videos that talk about all of this as well. Uh, what is back there? Oh, more trees. Let me do that little curly thing. Try and get trees into there. Well, Rufus is 22 months old and did not appreciate a giant inflatable T-Rex. What? Why not? Sunny, who's only five, really loved it. I'm here in ink spots. Glad the voice is recovering. Well done, Kendall. Thanks. You played Luigi Mansion? Five, three. Is Mario still exclusive to Nintendo? Yes. I think so. Uh, you can, you can get like ported things, I think, for your computer if you're desperate, but just get a Switch because they're the best, aren't they, Jack? Don't mess around with anything else. Right, let's go for those thingies I said I was going to be adding in. No, yep. Another little bit of tree. Okay. I'm going to do some puffy puff kind of smoke clouds. These are 
super technical terms. just like I do with some other things I'm trying to be quite careful about which way my pencil goes with my pen rather it's just a pen but still there are lots of dark and light areas but I think I'm gonna let the paint do the talking with that um, but what I might do is add some darkness around the base over here base of some of the fires as my own artistic license because I just think it might look good. Create a slight extra dimension there. Then we're going to erase those lines everywhere and put a border on it. And then it, it's it, it's the final ones done. I've thought about putting some black in and around here to make it a good drawing, but I do think that the um, painting is when it's really going to come to life with this one. Excuse me. <laughs> Big sneeze coming along. Sorry. Oh, actually, I just talked myself out of this. I'm going to add a couple of dark areas to let the night shine through ever so slightly oh how i'm looking forward to not hunching over my desk to do these things do you realize it's actually quite quite a bloody commitment to set yourself up to not only doing um not only doing 31 drawings in a month but doing them all as live streams <laughs> it's actually quite the commitment guys especially where the, while there's a little world of people asking me why i'm not doing outside live streams i'm like jeez leave me alone Leave me alone. I'm one person and I'm not stretchy enough. Hi, Mary Lou. You're just at the end of um, my final one. You have Yoshi, ah, as in my Rio, my, my Yoshi. Oh, Jack. <laughs> Cute. I'm glad. I think Ginny might have him as well, but he likes interacting with all you guys. Us foreigners are more um, outgoing and friendly than Japanese people he meets. He really suits us, actually, I think. That little Leo Yoshi of mine. <laughs> I'm going to blow my nose, guys, because I need to. <laughs> Okay. I think these little mysterious bits are actually looking quite nice. I think I need to get rid of the um I need to get rid of the pencil outlines to try and see if it looks a bit better again. I think you'll agree this is a tricky one to um a tricky one to draw. 
they all are in some way. They've all challenged me one way or another. Um, I, like they have and they haven't because I don't really think of being challenged when I draw pictures. I just sort of draw them. Um, that's not trying to sound immodest and showing off at all. It's trying to sound like someone who is just being creative for the sake of being creative, which is absolutely all I'm trying to do and exactly what I'm trying to encourage in other people too. So, and there are plenty of people who would have drawn these much, much more fantastically than myself and much more quickly. But we're not here for that. We're here for our own self-exploration. We'll see what comes out of it. My tummy pain is gone. So thank you all for um, hanging out with me until my tummy pain went. My tummy pain for the last two hours in a way that, um, in a way that was making me really worried because it was making me nauseous and I don't be sick. Uh, and I was having what I thought was heartburn earlier. And this is all off the back of some flu that I've had, which is horrible. Jack, I, uh, I loaded up Animal Crossing yesterday. I haven't played it in ages, but I was at home feeling sick because of everything. And then it was a Halloween. So I had Hocus Pocus on and I went and did the trick or treating on um, Animal Crossing. They were like, where have you been? It's been six months. Where have you been? I was like, dudes, I'm here. Do you want some candy? I'm here with candy. Like, it's okay, guys. I'm going to just do some light bits of this unique shading I'm doing over here. I would really like to bring gaming into my um, YouTube channel but I realized that would make it quite a mix mash of things. I guess there could be corners of my YouTube channel that you go to for different aspects. Art, life, the world, gaming, I don't know. I think people often um, make different channels for each of these things. Can we be bothered with that? I don't know. This looks a bit like this mysterious spirits, doesn't it? But I need to be a set up in my new home before I can even think about that anyway. I'm finished. Almost. I like what I'm looking at. <clears throat> there we go. Kendall, the all things channel. I like it. I like it. Did you choose your villages or did you stick to random ones? What do you mean by that? Do you mean like I let the ones stay that I love and guys, I've got one hell of a collection of villages. I've got all the big famousy ones everybody wants, but they just naturally came to me. So I'm pretty lucky. I've got Marshall and Ruby and the whole gang. I had Hornsby, but now there's a different one. I've got some very good ones. That's that's it.
Oh, thanks, Mary Lou. I appreciate your words there. She just said, thank you for your commitment for the whole month. I was just banging on about what pain in the bum it is. Even if you love something, man, committing to it for a whole month, especially if it's not making you a buck, is real difficult. But genuinely a huge thank you to those of you that, that did send a little something my way. I didn't make my hope and expectation of 31 tips to cover the 31 thingies, but I still got some, which is a massive help, so thank you. I've been ill for 80% of October. The month disagrees with me. Hmm. I had the worst September going and then October got finished off roughly. The villagers were so missing me, yeah. In Animal Crossing, if a villager is moving, he go island hopping for new vis visitors, uh, villagers to invite. Yes, but I... All the ones that ever came to me that I wanted to keep, I found ways to keep. Like Apollo and Marshall and and um, Ruby and things. I've got them. I've got some cool ones. Okay, I'm going to put the outline on this. Fire was the word of the day. Let's say a little bit of thanks to the, um, the pens that Stayed as one. They got got me through where I needed them to go. There we go, a final border. Thank you, pens. A final sign. A final word on the back. Fire. And a thank you to Inktober. De Numba. Da Iwan. Fire. You're so lucky to get ones you liked. I know I did have to change a few of mine for the Takayaki villager and Raymond. <laughs> yeah. I did I did get great ones that many people like. Here it is. Here is fire. Another whole month. I did it. In the name of hanging out with everyone trying something new for a whole month and making an incredible set and your reward for sticking with me now shall be to look through all of them one by one before everyone else gets to we'll look backwards shall we backwards or forwards how do you want to see them from 31 to 1 or from 1 to 31 what would you like we're at 31 here In the Big Brother Drawing House. Okay, I'm going to start doing it. Right, 31 was fire. 30 was rush. Fujigu Highland there. Oh, forward, forward. He said forward. Let's flip him. Okay, number one was dream. Number two was spiders. Number three was Path. This one's already taken by Elizabeth. They're going to be 20 to 25 each and they are going to be coloured with watercolour. Four is Dodge. This one is taken by Rebecca. Um, five is Map. That is La Colina. Six was Golden. Seven was Drip. Eight was toad. I did frogs. Shh. Nine was bounce. Hikonian bouncing as a lantern. 
10 was fortune, Chinese lion. 11 was wonder, it's Kendall, wondering. 12 was spicy. 13 was rise. 14 was castle. 15 was dagger, <laughs> multi daggers. I took my took liberties there. Um, 16 was angel. Took a liberty here as well. I'll put myself. Um, 17 was demon. And me and Erica both agree this is a demon. 18 was saddle. Thank you, bicycle. Hello. Uh, 19 was plump. 20 was frost. 21 was chains. 22 was scratchy. Thanks, Jack. See you. 23 was celestial. 24 was shallow. 25 was dangerous. That was another fire festival. I think there's no fire at that point. Ah, oh, there's a little fire. Um, 26 was remove. 27 was beast. 28 was sparkle. 29 was massive. 30 rush. 31 fire. There is an Inktober colouring book available on my Etsy shop. So if you go to etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Miss Kendall James, you can find some originals from last from last year. They look quite different. Um, and you can find the colouring book to download. There will be a colouring book of these. I will get them um, scanned as soon as I can, hopefully tomorrow. So thank you very much, everybody. That was Inktober with me this year in uh, 2023. And... Thank you so much to Inktober for its, its existence. I hope you had a nice time doing that with me. That's my fourth, wait, third, third year. Yeah, this year, 2021 was my first year and I used Final Fantasy as, a, and as an extra prompt. And last year I did it live on Hago this year. Live on YouTube. Thank you so much. I'm going to go and rest because because I'm sick so I'll see you and thank you so much for um everything check me out on linktr.ee forward slash miss kendall james bye